Hi, I'm Tavi and I'm representing Overtech. We are developing and producing autonomous vehicles that take you from the bus stop to your doorstep, or for that matter, any place you want to go in a predetermined area. By doing that, we actually also reduce the need for parking lots that take up uh, a lot of valuable uh, uh, city space. And of course, it goes without saying that our way of transport, which is extending public transport, is very much uh, contributing also to achieving the climate goals. All of our cars are fully electric. Our car is um, for level four autonomous, which means that it can drive on both uh, public uh, roads and also um, closed roads, depending on the use case. Our car fits up to uh, eight people. And uh, the most important thing is that it is available already now. We have been operating commercially in uh, several countries, uh, mainly in European Union. Uh, Overtech, um, Overtech uh, has a uh, very important um, competitive advantage, and this is uh, uh, being flexible. Uh, there are several use cases for autonomous shuttles, and uh, if a customer needs to modify the car according to a special use case, we are able to do that, mainly because we have both the design, development, and also um, production all done in-house. The second competitive advantage is something that has already been mentioned here today, but is somewhat unusual because it has almost never been uh, you know, used as, as a logical explanation. And, and this is Estonian weather. Uh, we do have four different uh, seasons and for developing um, different conditions for autonomous vehicles, this is extremely useful. Having a lot of snow, having sometimes heavy rain, having all sorts of conditions helps us to be ready for whatever the world brings. As said, autonomous driving is no longer a distant moonshot. It is here and now, and Overtech is ready for the early adopters to take it along. I would be very happy to explain more in our breakout room soon. Thank you. Davi, thank you so much for being with us here today. Uh, you've already given us a great overview of what uh, Alvatech does. Uh, one of the questions from the audience is, um, I guess it's a, it's a common theme these days, uh, what are the biggest barriers for introducing self-driving vehicles uh, on our streets? Mm -hmm. um, would you say it's rather people's mindsets, uh, legal questions, or something completely different? It's both uh, the acceptance by the society, but also legal issues. Uh, uh, I don't think that any of us is completely ready to accepting driving 100 kilometers an hour without the car wheel uh, just in front of us uh, as, as our first experience in an autonomous vehicle. That's why we are uh, having our sweet spot uh, at this last mile uh, transport, which is uh, relatively slow, up to 25 kilometers. The cars are very safe. Uh, you have seat belts. The experience is uh, made as uh, as safe, as, as, as feeling safe mm -hmm. as humanly possible for people. And, and uh, I think gradually we are growing to have more autonomous driving, uh, but it doesn't happen overnight. Uh, it doesn't indeed, and I'm, I'm sure that this is only the first step, and at some point, we maybe in 50 years or so, we will be much more comfortable with uh, being in a car where there is no steering wheel uh, in front of us at all anymore, uh, and then we can go higher speeds and, and other things. Um, one question uh, that, that also came, came here uh, for, for my side was, so you've tested in Estonia? Uh, you've also tested in Greece, as far as I'm uh, aware. Is there any environment uh, which you really want to test? Like, is there a certain country where you would say, we would love to test there as a test bed as well? Uh, for example, the Gulf area or, or um, uh, Middle East or areas where, where the temperatures are very high, mm -hmm. up to, let's say, 50 degrees of Celsius. We want to test out how the car performs uh, in... Um, 
uh, when, when the battery is drained by the air conditioner. Of course, we do have some solutions for that as well, but we are not routinely testing there. Mm. Having said that, uh, you know, this winter that we just had, with minus 25 degrees, with piles of snow, with sometimes this kind of salty, muddy uh, snow, which is, you know, even for human driver, it's, yeah. it's not not pleasurable thing. Uh, our cars uh, enjoy the environment and we're perfectly capable in driving this. Very well. Um, thank you so much, Davi, for giving us thank an you, overview Florian. of what Alvatech does.